Hi guys, lots of people who own 7 Series BMW come across with a problem that a parking brake fail only because there is a plastic gears that breaks and then dealership trying to charge you up to a thousand dollars to replace entire module with the part that we have that made out of uh, stainless steel we will fix this module for a fraction of that cost first we will remove the mat after you remove the cover you move the entire module to be able to remove the gear first disconnect the electrical connector on the left side press the tab and pull the connector out next you need a 10 millimeter to unscrew three screws you have to remove the electric motor body in one shot now we need to remove a couple more pieces to release this actuator screw. Remember where the screws go. All the screws will be different size and you don't want to mismatch them. This part comes out very easy. This is a limiter. Now we're removing the stopper that holds the shaft in play. Now we need to remove two clips that will prevent the cables from coming out. We will take out the cover. If this gear is broken, you can turn the gear with your hand or with a screwdriver. Now we can see that this portion is all the way down and the cables are near down to the port where we can just disengage them. There's a little tab on the bottom here that you could press and just remove the cable out. The whole unit will turn counterclockwise to the point where you could pull the gear out. Make sure you have lithium grease to lubricate all the moving parts. As you can see this is a stainless steel no more breaking gear. This goes back and you start turning and you slide it in. Make sure that you lubricate again the moving components. This is not positioned correctly, just turn it to the right or to the left to make sure that this is centered and the springs could fit back properly. Okay guys, now this is the most fun part to put it back. You have to hear a little click when placing the cable in. That will let you know that the cable is nice and secure. When you turn the amateur, make sure you turn clockwise. That's where the cables lock in. Now this stopper can easily be installed back to its original position. Also this other little stopper could be installed as well. Now we install these springs that hold the cables in place. Return back the magnet and the motor casing. Connect the electrical connector back to its original position. And now you can test how the module works and actuate the brakes three times. The warning light should disappear after the third time. That means that you did everything correct and the part that I'm about to use is a Motor King stainless steel brand. Good luck and enjoy your car.